Here we have another Netduino to Windows Form Serial communication example. Uh, this time round, uh, we're using the Serial Port Helper class uh, provided by Harry at the Netduino forums. Uh, the advantage of using this system is that uh, it, it enables us to have read line functionality, which means we no longer have to detail the length of data being sent, and uh, this simplifies the code dramatically. So if I start by connecting to the Netduino, which you can see in the video here, what this does is this sends a command of open to the Netduino, it's displayed on the uh, debug window here. Uh, we have this function here which is do something with data, uh, this takes the inbound string, uh, splits it up into an array, uh, then reads the first member of that array uh, as, a, as essentially a filter which enables us to uh, determine different functionality. So in this case it read open and uh, by way of result prints uh, open back to the Windows form. The Windows form then receives a uh, command of open, it has a, an equivalent filter which then makes it display connections now open. So from this what we can do is we can send uh, string data to and from the Netduino. So for example, I write test, click on send, you see that test appears down here and it is also bounced back and it appears in this window box here. Uh, that is because the in initial data value of the array is not set as in as a case statement so it goes in as default and therefore it prints line back to the Windows form. However if we were to assign one of these like so for example click on send uh, then as you can see down here the data is received as M100-1000 this is a very simple example which could be used for robot control. So we can say uh, motor control, uh, forward speed of 100, and do this for 1000 milliseconds, say. And as you can see, it's received the, uh, the first statement case of M, so therefore it does a motor update. And for the purpose of this example, I've just uh, assigned that to print the line motor update back to the form. And as you can see on the form here, motor update appears. So there we have a, an initial uh, introduction to the new uh, serial class. Uh, one more thing to demonstrate quickly before I go is that you can also send uh, commands via button press, for example. So if I hit the button, you can see on the Windows form the word button pressed has appeared and released. So you've got press and release and more on that next time. Thank you very much.